Hey everybody, this is Eddie Ember coming at you with another episode of You Don't Know Jack, and today we're going to be doing, uh, as soon as I find it, Blue Bats, Gerbil, and Rodent Grease. Hello to you, Donnie here. How many so-called people will be put one And we're down to the countdown of 12 episodes me, left. Please. Great. We're almost at places. 10 seconds. Bye, Kiri. Oh. I get a Wimbledon check. Six. Five. Let's go to black. Taste the memory. So, to be honest, I haven't actually done You Don't Know Jack in a oh, wait. Sorry I'm late. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, we're gonna, well, we're gonna dock that off your pay, Cookie. Nobody wanted to play with you, huh? It's like grammar school all over again. <laughs> and your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Lube Rats, Gerbil, and Rodent Grease. Be sure to grease your gerbil every 10,000 smiles. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> okay, let's get this show uh, on the road. I guess I should have seen if uh, the volume was defined in that last episode. I'm, tr I'm trying a new you say way stupid of... Things on stage, I say tomato. One of the great traditions of theater is to take along a new some fruits and vegetables and throw them at my the voice. actors if you are dissatisfied with their art. Say you're watching a horrible passion play, so you start hurling passion fruit at the actors. If the lead actor stays in character, what would he say? Let he who is without sin cast the first fruit? What fruit through yonder window breaks? I want to suck your fruit! Or, ho ho ho, think I'll make a fruit cake. What fruit through yonder window? Oh, hmm, it's a kumquat. Oh. oh, honestly. Now, Passion Play is a play about Jesus, and Jesus said, to paraphrase, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. And as Mel Gibson said, to paraphrase, you stupid f Why not try? Cloudy with a chance of gastric bypass surgery. They just made that joke last what expression game. would Al Roker say to really hammer home that he's at his most elevated state of happiness? I'm on Cirrus Cloud 9. I'm on Allostratus Cloud 9. I'm on Stratus Cloud 9. Close. Or, I'm on Cumulus Cloud 9. Oh, a gloomy choice. Oh. The correct answer is... Cirrus clouds are considered high clouds that start at 16,500 feet and can reach 45,000 feet. Ironically, I have a restraining order that requires me to stay at least 45,000 feet away from the Today Show window set. <sighs> Up next, do you believe in miracles? Yes! Hey, remember the miracle on the Hudson? You know, the hero pilot that landed U.S. Airways Flight 1548 right there on the Hudson River? It was like the ending to a Disney movie. I half expected animated bluebirds to show up and carry the passengers to shore. Anyway, that got me thinking. The lovable captain of the Miracle on the Hudson plane shares a nickname with which lovable Pixar character? The piggy bank from Toy Story, the head monster from Monsters, Inc., the lead rat from Ratatouille, or the little boy from The Incredibles? One right answer coming up. You didn't sell yourself on this one. They're both nicknamed Sully. Captain Chelsea Sully Sullenberger and the monster James P. Sully Sullivan. But of course, they I was thinking that the rat was actually on honest, the easy, same. right answer. Rats. <laughs> our rodents. And they could sure make good use of your wrong answer of the game prize. Gerbil Grease from Lube Rats, Gerbil I'm now just accidentally grease. selecting because the wrong answer of the days now. I, I keep forgetting about rodent. them, to be honest. This wrong answer of the game just gets you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. Ching! This one's known as... If looks could kill, then this would be a diss or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's a female serial killer or a male Victoria's Secret model. Or okay. both. 
<laughs> Just kidding. If it's a serial killer, press the number one. If it's a Victoria's Secret model, press the number two. Right answers will give you more bills to stuff your bra with. But answer wrong and you may be just another you don't know Jack victim. Keep your eye on the clock to keep your score alive and beautiful. Okay, we're off. Unfortunately, I don't keep track Adriana of... Adriana Lima, Elle Gunnis, Giselle Bunchen, Rosemary Wet, Eileen Warno, Carolina Kirk, Elizabeth Bother. I'm so disappointed in you that I'll either murder you or try on some sexy woman's underwear. I just haven't decided which. Okay, I've decided. No! Oh, I love the No, he actually went to go There's try really on some. There's nothing better um... than slipping into a bra that fits just perfectly and creates a really nice line under your clothes. I mean, you know. Yeah, if, I think I'm going to edit that, woman, little, that little thing out. That's yeah. what I meant. Where's the bomb girl? Here's one I like to call, aren't guitar teachers the real guitar heroes? I like games like DJ Hero and Guitar Hero, but I think the cast decide who the real musical heroes are, auxiliary percussionists. Which of these games features a percussion instrument in the title? Ocarina Hero, Sitar Hero, Timpani Hero, or Sousaphone Hero? A timpani is, drum roll please, a drum. <laughs> okay, time to give this game a test run. Okay, here it comes. It's coming up. Just about time. Okay, here I go. Nailed it! Now I just need to wait two minutes and do it again. I love this game. <laughs> Round one is in the books. And you're doing pretty well. Probably because there's no competition. Oh. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Okay, we're bringing it on. Well, I've already found the wrong answer, so... Coming up next, cue the montage. Montages are my favorite parts of movies because you get to witness so many activities achieved in just one day. There are a lot of historical people I would love to have a montage with. People like Mark Twain, Abe Lincoln, my birth father, well, suppose I have a montage type day with Upton Sinclair. Based on the horrors you wrote about in the jungle, what would we definitely not do? Feed each other hot dogs, laugh and run through the zoo, carve our names into a tree, or go on a romantic boat ride? Um... Feed each other's hot dogs? I'm not Here's sure. Here's what you meant to pick. Upton Sinclair is the author of The Jungle, a book that reveals the corruption of the American meatpacking industry during the early 20th century. As long as we get to ride a tandem bicycle and have an ice cream cone down by the lake, then I'm happy. Question seven. May I introduce Galactic Shoutout? If the Earth wanted to yell at the sun about the distance between them, what would it yell? Hey, you! Oh, hey! Oh, you! Hey, oh! Hey, oh! Oh, hey! No way! <laughs> Were you thinking of this one? AU stands for astronomical unit, and the distance from the Earth to the sun is one astronomical unit. Sometimes it also yells, hey ya. Both the Earth and the Sun are huge outcast fans. Blood and chickens pick up Aye. on me. Oh, guess I'll marry eight. How about the Dunny's Dunny? One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. I haven't broken out Billy O'Brien in a while. Maybe I should take him out for a question, see if I still have my mad ventriloquism skills. Let me out, I have to take a tiss. Hey, Billy, haven't seen you in a while. Um, who's your friend? Oh, this ninny dag of sawdust? It's my ventriloquist dummy, Nike McDride. You have your own dummy named Mikey McBride? Yeah, you got a problem with that? 
Punk. Since I was hardly Holy getting wow. out of the docks, I had to take out a hottie. Nasty, he'll just take up Master D. Whoa! Hey, let's stick to question asking. Which movie should I move to the top of my Netflix queue if I want to launch something starring my favorite movie star, Philip Seymour Hoffman? The Curious Case of Dungeon and Dutton, Mr. Nagorian's Wonder in Torian, Dyrus of the Caribbean, The Black Girl, or Doubt? I think you were thinking of a different Hoffman. I mean, Hoffman. Yeah, I probably so was. Obvious. Yeah, he is in that. You have a really great taste in movies, Nike. Thanks, Dilly. No, he doesn't. You're my best friend. No, you're my best friend. Hey, what are you looking at, Master Sucks? Oh, uh, sorry. This is really, really strange. <laughs> It's time for sawing your family's honorable name in half. How did David Seth Kotkin magically change his name to David Copperfield? He pulled the name out of a black top hat. The copper idea came to him during a penny in the ear trick. He had a dream about it during a levitation trick. Or he Wait, just what? copied from the book David Copperfield. What? Yeah, cause there's no better time to take a nap than in the middle of a magic trick. Watch how easy this is. Super magically, he just stole it from Charles Dickens' book. Hold me, never let me go. Whatever. up for configuration menu. Okay, so fingerprints are apparently one of three or four different types of patterns. Which of these finger foods is not covered with an officially classified fingerprint pattern? An arch-smeared pizza bagel, fruit smudged with a loop, a whorl-covered mini quiche, or corn chips with a dip? I think it's... I'll look at my own finger. A whoa. Yeah, you make me want a whorl. Okay, it's a lo loop. Here's it's a loop. Here's what you meant to pick. Arch, loop, and whorl are apparently all types of fingerprint patterns. A dip, however, is not. But I think this whole fingerprint identification thing is a hoax. I mean, they can't really tell different fingerprints apart from each other. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I, I, I didn't mean to kill him. He was just barking so loud. It's down on the ground! Down on the ground! Oh, it's okay. They were uh, just after one of our interns. Shot him dead. Hmm. Hey, can one of you other interns bring me a new pair of underwear over here? Oh wow, that was actually question ten. I thought that, I thought that was only question nine. Of course, who wants to hear my yapping? Oh, I'm still doing it. Sorry. Here you go. How many points did I get? You gotta know how to keep score. Good luck. Oh boy. Touchdown. Six points. Two points. No, wait, that's one point. One hundred points. <laughs> that's out of bullseye. That's I'm not really sure. Catching points on 150. Scrapples. Uh, I don't know it when I see it. No. A yacht sea. 50 points. Rito is one point. Get it right. It's 25 points. I'll get it next time. Okay, there is no next time. There you have it! 
Well, at least it's in the positive. Well, that was underwhelming. Hello? I finally made contact. Okay, help. I'm trapped in a sub under the Arctic Ocean. I'm going to send you my coordinates. Hold on. Some, some data is coming in. I, I'm, rece I'm receiving your, your score. Oh. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, uh, are there any smart people in the house or, or nearby that you can get in touch with to help me? I really do need help. Which is, you know, just way too much applesauce for that time of night. You don't know Jack! <laughs> That's right. Johnny, what's happening? No. Okay, that was... Like the rage and more Tom Plummery. Quick cut.